All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, our NGT lab. This morning, we're going to take a, a moment and talk about the new test head for the S530, as well as the uh, the new manipulator that's coming with it. Option to come with it. This is a Reed Ashman manipulator. It is a counterbalance weighted system, so it's completely manual. No electronics involved in it. The um, the controls for the manipulator, there's really only one that you're going to be mainly concerned with. Once you get set up on the system, is this vertical control right here, because that's that's what's going to allow the release to let the uh, test head move up and down. On the front of the of the test head, you'll see for the docking, you see these docking bars here. Right now they're to the right, so they're in the lock position. So the first thing we're going to do is move them to the left, which will unlock the test head from the prober side docking. Then you'll come here to the vertical control. And this will be in a counterclockwise motion, which will release it. And now that there's ha several handles on the, the test head, you can just grab the handles. and You can just manually just lift it up into the air. So what I'm going to show now is on the back side, there is a twist control, which allows the test head to, to rotate. So I'm going to release that twist control, which will allow the test head To rotate and we're just going to go 90 degrees okay so now what we're seeing here is the bottom of the of the test head this one happens to have a gold probe card interface which is the s600 that'll be covered in a separate video describing the details of the different probe card interfaces but what i want to bring your attention to this morning here is the is the docking so on on the tester side there's gross alignment bushings and then there's fine alignment pins. And then this is the, uh, the lock and unlock mechanism, which engages a cam over here. So Aaron, if you come into this side, if you come down to the prober, this is the, uh, the insert ring, which holds the probe card, as well as the, the alignment features. So this one happens to be an S600 probe card. And it's the insert ring is the same insert ring that was used on the S600, uh, the same AI, IBs because here's your fine alignment bushings and then what we've added is a gross alignment section so you have two gross alignment pins uh, the shorter one is on the left tall ones on the right what the short one is doing is actually engaging a, um, a lever inside which controls the the interlock so interlock is now uh, just built into the to the docking there's no external wires it's just internally inside on the uh, on this pin here so when you're, so that's all of the, the components to tester side docking, prober side docking. And then now just to uh, redock it back in, I'm gonna loosen the twist control and bring this to a, a horizontal position. And then I'm gonna unlatch the vertical control and then just lower the test head back onto the prober. And you can look I'm down here looking and I'm looking up underneath her so I can see the gross alignments are engaging first. And then once those engage, then it allows the fine alignment pins to gauge. So once you dock, move it back to the lock position and your test head is now docked.